Happy Labor Day, everyone. Once again, I'm Dr. Elsie Cook, and I welcome you to my channel on Mission with Elsie. As Americans celebrate the social and economic achievements of Americans this Labor Day, I'd like to share with you from 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. Behind John's prayer comes an exhortation to lead balanced life characterized not just by spiritual vigor, but by mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Taking care of ourselves, body, soul, and spirit is a good way to ensure that we fully enjoy the one life God has gifted us with. It also ensures that we continue to contribute to the betterment of the communities and societies we are part of and be a blessing to those around us. After all, we cannot give what we don't have. This is the reason why in my 56 years of existence, I do my best to have a balance in my pursuits in life. Just as I passionately pursue the things of God like prayer, Bible reading and meditation, Christian service, and many other spiritual disciplines, I also passionately pursue taking care of myself and being a good steward of my body, my mind, and my emotional well-being. I do my best to make choices that will allow me to fully enjoy the one life God has gifted me with. This passion is also grounded in the biblical implicit command to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. You're probably asking, what does biblical self-love look like? About five or six months ago, I actually shared about this during one of the live broadcasts on, on my YouTube channel. The broadcast is entitled, Self-Love Matters. I will be sharing the link to that in the comment box to this video. If you are interested, Click on that video and watch the conversation I had with a couple of my friends on what biblical self-love looks like. Another short video I produce, which may help you understand what self-love really means, is a four-minute video called Biblical Self-Love. I'll share the link to that video as well in the comment box to this recording. So this Labor Day and every day of your life, I pray John's prayer. I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Have a blessed week. See you again next week.